If you're hitting it to a fence or a net, or even out onto the ball field, this is not a good, this is not a good place to do soft toss from. If you have a fence or a net, you're here at the front hip. So it's simulating a ball coming towards her, even though it's at an angle. The ultimate would be to do front toss to her. If I was at a further distance, and I, I did toss to her at this direction. This is the best place for you to do toss. This is not safe for you. With this net, this is not safe for you. If you have a better net, do it this direction. If you don't have a better net, meaning a stronger, straighter net that's not a catch net, right? That's not gonna do this on you. You can stand further away, but I'm gonna do it from about this distance, not I'm going to bring my net back here, right? I'm not going to be that close to her, and I'm going to do front toss, and I'm going to get out of the way. Okay, this is, those are the best ways. I'm going to tell you this little tip, this little nugget right here. If you want a kid to get better hitting faster, if you want her to get better sooner, pitch a moving ball at her from the front of her. Pitch a moving ball at her in the front of her. T work sucks. Hitting off the T sucks. Most kids have bad mechanics off the T anyhow. But the T is a tool. You can have them focus on mechanics when hitting on the T because we're moving a little slower because we're thinking, right? But most kids on a T stay back and hit off of a T like this. Bad mechanics happening. We want them to lead with their nose Stride forward, go forward with the nose, and then swing. But most kids don't do that on the tee. So the tee is good for some things, but if you want your daughter to get better sooner, do front toss with her and let her hit a moving ball coming at her from the pitcher's direction. Okay? Little nugget for you. Uh, pick those up real quick.